Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech and iOS 17.1 introduced a new name drop feature that allows you to share your contact info seamlessly with someone else. This feature lately has been talked about a lot as there's some information going around saying that it's not secure from local sheriff's offices and more. However, they're saying that someone could bring their phone right up next to yours and then take your contact information, photos and more. And this is simply not true. I wanted to show you exactly how it works and how you can disable it if you want to, but there's not really a need as it's still a secure feature. Now, the first thing is with iOS 17.1, they introduced this feature where if you bring your phones close together, just bring them together like this, you'll see a nice little animation and then you'll have your information pop up on the display. These are contact cards or contact posters. You'll see on my right phone, these are two different accounts on the left. There's a picture of me with my contact card here. And on the right is another phone with my phone number where I could share that to someone else. This does not transfer the information unless you choose to either receive it. And then the other person sending the information has to choose to share it. Otherwise the information will not transfer to the other phone. So you will not get any information transferred if you have this set up like this. And if you don't want it, you see this pop up on your phone, swipe up, it goes away and no transfer is made either way. The same is true if maybe your phone is locked. So maybe someone brings their phone close to yours and your phone is locked nothing will happen. If your phone is turned on, but it's not unlocked and you bring your phone close to another that actually has it enabled, the same thing happens. It pops up, but again, want you now to unlock your phone before you can do anything again, safeguarding your information. And then once it's unlocked, you'll see here, we'll unlock the phone like this. Once it's unlocked, nothing happens. If they bring it again, they'll have to again, confirm that information that you want to share it or receive it. Otherwise they don't get any information whatsoever. So it's completely secured that way. It also works with Apple watch. So if I bring this close to an Apple watch, you can transfer that information the same way. But again, you actually have to continue to share your information or receive only again, you cannot do it. Otherwise it will not send that information. So where people are saying you need to disable this right away because it's not secure is just not accurate. One reason you may want to disable it though, is it can be annoying. If you have two phones nearby regularly, they can trigger one another to actually send that information. However, this is also very helpful to transfer information with airdrop. So if we go into the photos app and maybe I want to send this photo. And then if I want to airdrop, maybe a wallpaper, you'll see, I have some devices there, but if I want to airdrop it to this one, I can just bring it close and it will actually transfer and ask me if I want to accept what's being sent to me. So there's again, many safeguards in place. Now, if you want to turn this off altogether, all you need to do is go into your settings. So if we want to turn this off altogether though, we can go into our settings under general and airdrop. And again, we have that option for bringing devices together. If you don't want this to happen at all, just turn it off. But again, remember you have to confirm that someone's sending something to you, whether that's airdropping with everyone for 10 minutes, you could turn airdrop off altogether so you won't receive files or just leave it on default. Again, you'll see bringing devices together though. If you want to turn that off now, if I bring them together, nothing happens. So you can turn that off, turn it back on and you'll see it works again. So again, it's completely under your control. You don't have to turn it off. It's completely secure either way, but if you don't want it to happen at all, you can disable it. If you did want to disable this on the Apple watch, I wanted to show you how to do that as well. Go to your settings. Under settings, scroll down until you see contacts, just keep going under contacts. You'll see name drop. It's the first thing there. Then you can disable it if you don't want it to be there. If you do want to use it and you find it convenient, leave it on. And then someone again will have to confirm with you. But otherwise, when you bring your phone close to it, you can actually send your information that way and you'll see it shows, just bring it nearby and then you can share it. But again, you have to confirm this. But unfortunately the information about it being insecure and something you shouldn't have enabled is just not accurate at all. So that's how it works. Hopefully that helps. And if you have any additional questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll link these wallpapers like I normally do. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like as always. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.